Adventures of Jungle Jim. When we left our friends last week, Lil and Myra were guests in Bhutan's camp. Peter Hawkins was held a prisoner, and Jungle Jim was hiding in an old emerald mine near the camp. You will remember that last week, Bhutan and Lil had a long talk, and that while the prince was apparently infatuated with Lil, he did not fully trust her. Also that while Lil and Bhutan talked, Myra Trent visited Peter Hawkins in the locked hut, and Hawkins asked her to send Shanghai Lil to him. As our story ended, Shanghai Lil left Bhutan to go for a short horseback ride, and immediately heading into the jungle, she met Jim Bradley. As they talked, they suddenly discovered that they were being watched by the tiger who had followed Lil. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Lil and Jim have been talking at the old mine and have just realized that they are being watched. Jim, that was Ronnie Hawkins. That's right, and he was following you. Quick, get back in the mine. He may not have seen us. I'm sure he saw us. Wait. I don't see him now. I don't hear his horse. He's probably gone back to Bhutan. We've got to act and act fast. Lil, I think I see him. He's dismounted and is sneaking up on us. There's only one entrance to this mine. We're trapped. Not yet. Listen to me, Lil. I'm going out to meet him. While I hold his attention, you get into the jungle to where you left your horse and get back to Bhutan. But what about Ronnie? Leave him to me. If necessary, I'll hold him here as my prisoner. Oh, watch yourself, Jim. He's on. Don't worry about me. What you've got to do is get back to Bhutan's camp without being seen. Drop that gun. Keep away. Drop it, I tell you. Keep away. Drop it. I kill you. I kill you. Hold still, I tell you. Drop it. That's it. I'll take that gun and cut this belt. Come on. Now, sit down there. I want to talk to you. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, I've got to follow the girl. If I don't, he'll kill me. Who'll kill you? Prince Bhutan. He told me to follow the girl. Let me go. What girl? There's no girl here. There was one. She was riding on a horse. I must follow her. You're crazy. There's no girl here. Crazy. Everyone says the tiger is crazy. <laughs> I want to talk to you. The girl. I hear her. I must follow. Stay where you are, Tiger. Bhutan will kill me. That was your horse you just heard. No. No, the girl. That was your own horse, I tell you. There's no girl here. Now, now look at me. That's it. Who are you, anyway? Who am I? Who am I? They call me the Tiger. The Tiger? That's not your real name. I am the Tiger. It's not your business. Give me my gun. Tiger, I don't think you know it, but you found a friend. A friend? That's right. I'm your friend, Tiger. Come on, now. Let's sit down on this log and talk things over. I can't. Bhutan will kill me if I don't follow the girl. Do as I say now. There's no girl here. Forget Bhutan. You don't know him as I do. He'll kill me. He'll kill me for talking to you. Tiger, I'm your friend, and I think that I can help you. A friend? No. No, I have no friends. I must follow the girl. She's gone. I lost her. Wait a minute now. I won't hurt you. Oh, you're tearing my shirt. Just as I suspected. A long scar running across your chest. What of it? Let me go. Tiger, listen to me. There's a man named Hawkins who's a prisoner in Bhutan's camp. The old one? Yes, the old one. Ronnie, guard that man with your life. He's your father. My... my father? What are you saying? That you're not the tiger, the slave of Bhutan's. You are Dr. Ronald Hawkins of London. While Jungle Jim has been talking to Ronnie in the jungle, Myra Trent has again made her way to the window at the rear of the hut in which Peter Hawkins is held prisoner. Mr. Hawkins. Mr. Hawkins. Who's there? Who is it? Come to the window. It's Myra Trent. I've been waiting for you, Miss Trent. Did you talk to the girl, Lily DeVrie, yet? I haven't been able to get to her, Mr. Hawkins. She's been with Bhutan. Now she's riding one of his horses. So... He gives her horses to ride, does he? They must be pretty good friends. I don't know what to think about her, Mr. Hawkins. She's so hard somehow. Yes? I tried to talk to her yesterday, but she wouldn't listen. Does Bhutan treat her like an old friend? Not like an old friend. No? I'm sure that they never saw each other before yesterday, but... Well, go on. Well, Mr. Hawkins, 
I think that Bhutan is half in love with Mr. Real already. What? In love with her? Oh, I know that sounds foolish, but it's true. A woman can tell. Uh, I wish you could remember if you've ever heard her name before. Well, I've tried to think. The name Lily DeVille ran through my head all night long. If she'd come and talk to me, I might be able to remember. I've thought about it, too. Lily DeVille. I'm sure that I know her. Oh, her. ancient one. Oh, Prince Bouton. You are sure that you know Miss DeVille? What do you know of her? Nothing, Bouton. And if I did know something, I wouldn't tell you. That's true, Prince Bouton. I just told Mr. Hawkins that Mr. Real had arrived. He was merely repeating her name. Silence, Miss Trent. When I want you to answer a question, I'll ask you one. Oh. Hawkins, I'm going to give you one more chance. Ah, you might as well save your breath. I think not. Who is Lily Devril? Tell me what you know about her and I will release you. I told you once I've never heard of her. You're lying. He's not. Really, he isn't. Perhaps another 20 lashes with the whip will help you to remember, ancient one. No, no. I've told you all I know. Miss Trent told me that the woman was in the plane that fell. If you want to know more, find out for yourself. Suppose that I told you that I think Miss Devril is another of Jungle Jim Bradley's friends. Oh, that she is a spy. Isn't that the reason you know her? Well, if he is, I wouldn't tell you, you murdering rat. Very well, Mr. Hawkins. You've had your last chance. You will again test the whip. You'll never make me talk, Bhutan. We will see, Ancient One. If the whip fails, there are other methods. Oh, please, Mr. Tan. <laughs> I'm sure that Mr. Hawkins doesn't know Mr. Real. Perhaps not. We will find that out later. Now I have something to say to you, Miss Trent. Why did you come here? Uh, I wanted to make sure that Mr. Hawkins was all right. Did I not forbid you to talk with him? I couldn't help coming. Mr. Hawkins is my friend. Perhaps you, too, would like to feel the bite of the whip. Oh. Bhutan, if you lay a finger on her, I'll strike you dead. <laughs> you forget your position, Mr. Hawkins. I will deal with you later. As for you, Miss Trent, this is my final warning. You are to come to me within an hour. Do you understand? Yes, Mr. Bouton. At that time, I shall expect you to tell me everything you know. But I've told you everything. You will tell me everything you know. And if I am not satisfied, we'll see what you have to say when you're tied to the whipping post. <laughs> A short time after Bhutan's talk with Myra Trent and Peter Hawkins, Shanghai Lil made her way back into the camp, having escaped from the mine unseen. Ah, Mr. Vril, return so soon. Let me help you dismount. Oh, thank Thank you, you, Mr. Bhutan. Uh, (laughs) Did you enjoy your ride? Oh, it was marvelous. I come back for you, Prince. Why, your horse is gone. Yes. Unfortunately, I am afraid we will have to postpone our little trip, Miss Devril. Oh. There is something I would like to talk to you about. Ask me anything you will, Prince. Very well. Why did you disobey my orders? I told you not to leave the camp until I was ready to accompany you. Yes, Prince. But you didn't tell me that you were going to assign a guard to see that I was safe. What do you mean by that? Oh, I saw the man you call the tiger following me and realized that you were afraid that I might get lost again. So, you saw him. Of course. <laughs> oh, come, Prince Bhutan. You're not going to be angry with me because I couldn't resist running away from your boy scout. Miss Devril, it might interest you to know that the tiger followed you without my permission. Do you mean that he stole your horse? Exactly. Well, and you told me that your men obeyed you perfectly. It seems that there are exceptions. The tiger will pay dearly for his disobedience. However, that can wait. Miss Devril, did you ever hear of Peter Hawkins? Peter Hawkins? Yes. Sure I am. That's the name of the man you hold a prisoner. That is right. All right. So what? A short time ago, I surprised Miss Trent and Mr. Hawkins while they were talking. I heard Mr. Hawkins say that he was sure he knew you. Well, if he does, it's news to me. Who is this man Hawkins, anyway? He's got his nerve talking about me. You insist that you do not know him? Of course I don't. If you doubt my word, take me to him. I'll soon prove to you that he never saw me before. Perhaps that will be unnecessary, Miss Devril. We shall see. If you ask me, Prince, you let your prisoners get away with murder around here. Yes? This Trent dame tried to tell me that she was a captive. But I noticed that she has the run of the place. So, Miss Trent has talked to you, too. Oh, she tried to talk to me. I put her in her place. Hmm. Miss Devril, you interest me. 
I'm slightly interested in you, too, Prince. Thank you. I think that I should explain about Miss Trent and Mr. Hawkins. That's a good idea. When they start talking about me, they're getting in my hair. What's it all about? I had an enemy, Miss Devril. A man named Jungle Jim Bradley, who swore that he'd kill me. Mm, you mentioned his name before. Yes, I believe I did. A few weeks ago, when my caravan left Mandalay, I found that this Bradley was following me. You mean that he came into the jungle after you? Yes. He met this man Hawkins, whose son was supposed to be somewhere in Upper Burma. And with that as an excuse, organized a safari throughout the trip. I had trouble with him. Didn't you do anything about it? Nothing. Not until my caravan entered Dumba Pass. There, Jungle Jim Bradley attempted to ambush me. Well, evidently, he wasn't very successful. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't, Mr. Brill. My men are well trained, and in the fight that followed, Bradley was killed. His companions, Miss Trent and Mr. Hawkins, were taken prisoners. And you brought them here? Yes, of course. What else was I to do with them? I know what I would have done. Yes? Prince Bhutan... You told me yesterday that the jungle was cruel. That is true. If you ask me, it's about the softest spot in the world. What do you mean by that? I mean that you're running this camp like a Sunday school picnic. You have two people here who made an attempt on your life, and you treat them as if they were your best friends. Go on. You interest me. You allow this Trent dame to wander around and talk about you. You keep this Hawkins locked up, but you treat him like a guest. Why, even the tiger, one of your men, has the nerve to steal your own horse. I see. What would you suggest, Miss Devril? That you start ruling like a prince. Get tough. Use the iron hand. If I was in charge, I'd show these people who was boss. Miss Devril, you would make a worthy consort. That's just what I was thinking. How about turning this man Hawkins? He has in this trend vein, too, over to me. If I should, what would you do with him? Well, Prince, I could use a slave. I think Miss Trent would do very nicely. Hmm. You may have her, Miss Devril. And what about the man Hawkins? What would you do with him? The most permanent method of dealing with him I know of is to have him shot. (laughs) Come with me, Miss Devril. You shall have your wish. Is Shanghai Lil joining forces with Bhutan? If so, what about Jungle Jim? Will she tell Bhutan that he is alive and hiding nearby? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Katsunyama Kids, Jigs and Maggie, Skippy, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon, and the famous page, Gags and Gals. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.